please help me uh, welcome Dr. Weta. Thank you for uh, coming to my first English lecture. I, I appreciate uh, Professor Jonathan Zwicka and CJ's staff for invite, inviting me here. Uh, uh, I welcome questions and comments after my lecture. Thank you. Uh, Modern scientists and filmmaking in Japan around 1910. Differences between Tokyo and Kyoto. Uh, introduction. Throughout the history of ja the Japanese film industry, the ma majority of period films have been produced at film studio in Kyoto. Kyoto became the center for period films or Jidai Geki in Japan for several reasons. First, Kyoto is blessed with a uh, uh, diverse environment at the, sorry, that enables film, filming in a variety of locations. The city is surrounded by mountains on three sides and possesses rich nature. As exemplified by the following waters of the two rivers, Kamogawa and Katsuragawa. Kyoto also has temples, shrines, and other famous sites that have been built at various times during the city's 1,200-year history. Secondly, the city was also blessed with indigenous Talent, indigenous talent. For instance, Katsutaro Inahata, who first brought fi films to Japan, was a native of Kyoto. Inahata entrusted Einosuke Yokota with the promotion of film. Yokota later became a central figure at Nikatsu Corporation. Another influential figure discovered by Yokota was Shozo Makino. Makino is referred to as the father of Japanese film. Furthermore, uh, uh, sorry, Makino is, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, furthermore, Makino encouraged a large number of scriptwriters and directors who made up the backbone of the Japanese film industry, and he also produced an enormous number of period films himself. The final significant factor is the role that traditional techniques, such as dyeing and crafts, played in creating the post-production company, Toyo Genzojo, currently Imagica and the prop company, Cause Corporation. Thanks to this assortment of favorable conditions, the production of period films grew into a new industry, ultimately serving uh, as a boost for Kyoto, which was in a decline after the re uh, relocation of capital to Tokyo. Tokyo and Kyoto are filmic cities in that from the beginning of the production of moving pictures in Japan to the present day. They have been home to most of Japanese film studios, as well as the location where the majority of Japanese films have been shot. During, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> during silent film era, Japanese film production came to be colored by regional dif differences. Tokyo became the center of the Gendai Gek or contemporary drama films, whereas Kyoto became associated with Jidai Gek or period drama films. 
the regional, region specific characteristics of film production in Kyoto were particularly influential in inventing the modern image of traditional Japan. In order to understand to a certain extent the historical and social conditions from which these region specific characteristics arose, this lecture will explore the region related differences among the movie theaters emerging in Tokyo and Kyoto around 1910. During the mid 40s, from 1907 to 1912, movie theaters became the main means for showing movies in major cities in Japan. Denkan, which opened in 1903 in Rock, the sixth district of Asakusa Park in Tokyo, was the only movie theater in Japan prior to this time and movies were commonly shown by traveling performers. Permanent movie theaters became the standard in the big cities only around 1910. And this picture, uh, this is picture of the sixth district of Asakusa Park. Uh, this is moving, uh, moving picture theaters. And this was also the time when Yokota Shokai, a movie company in Kyoto, started producing movies. Also, in 1908, Yokota Shokai released Momijigari Karanumei Puru Viewing, filmed by Tsunekichi Shibata in 1999. Starring Danjiro Ichikawa the ninth and Kikugoro Onoe the fifth. Um, please look at this movie. Uh, start, please. Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's the uh, change. Um, oh. <laughs> um, samurai is Onoe Kikugoro. Uh, and um, other people, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, other people is Danjuro uh, Ichikawa. This film had already been shown at the beginning of the 1900s in cities such as Tokyo and Osaka. There is an uh, interesting question here. In Tokyo, this movie was shown at Kinkikan in Kanda, a rented space that was used uh, as a permanent movie theater, as at Fujikan in Rock, a movie theater to which Yokota Shokai distribute movies. However, in Kyoto, it was shown at Ebisuya the Playhouse at Shinkyogo. Why was the Playhouse, which was not a dis uh, dedicated movie theater, chosen to screen Momijigari? instead of Denkikan, the movie theater, which was in the same district and to which Yokota Shokai distribute movies. This lecture will reveal that the moving movie screening practice in Kyoto around 1910 were different from these in Tokyo and will also shed light on the region-specific characteristics of the big cities.
In following section, I will explain the role of movie theaters in Yokota Shokai. In the third, relationship between urban space and movie screening. And in the fourth, region characteristics of movie screening and filmmaking. In conclusion, this difference in screening practice led to different filmmaking paths for Tokyo and Kyoto, the two big cities that continue to play a central role in the history of the Japanese movie industry in late years. The role of movie theaters in Yokota Shokai. How did Yokota Shokai regard the role of Denkikan, a movie theater in Shinkyogoku around 1910? To examine, to examine uh, this question, I would first like to compare the screening in Tokyo and Kyoto of Kankoku Shisats, a visiting, visit to Korea, filmed by Shigekazu Fukui in 1908, and Imori no Kuroyaki, a child nude, filmed by Fukui, and Honnoji Kassen, Battle at Honnoji Temple, directed by Shozo Makino. Kankoku Shisas is an actual film about the visit by Korean Crown Prince Iun, Hirofumi Ito, and others to Korea. Imori no Kuroyaki is a comedy movie recording of the impro improvised play, Niwaka. Similarly, Honnoji Kassen is a early period film featuring kabuki, uh, kabuki actors, Fukunosuke Nakamura and Ritoku Arashi. In Tokyo, Kankoku Shisas was released on June 1st, 1908 at Kinkikan in Kanda, and the first screening in Kyoto happened a little later uh, on June 27th of the same year with Minamiza Playhouse, one of the Crown Large theaters in Kyoto being selected to screen the movie. Imori no Kuroyaki was similarly released on June 23rd at Kinkikan in Kanda and was also screened in Fujikan, a movie theater in Rock, from November 2nd of the same year. In Kyoto, these films were not screened in 1908, uh, 1908 or in the, in the following year. Judging from these two films, it can at, at least be assumed that Yokota Shokai generally gave greater priority to screening their productions at movie theaters in Tokyo rather than at Playhouse in Kyoto. However, <coughs> however in the case of Honnoji Kassen, there was hardly any time lag the first release in Tokyo was on September 60th, 1908, and in Kyoto, ABC as a Playhouse in Shinkyogoku started screening the movie only two days later, on the 18th. And Iwagami the Playhouse in Nishijin was screening the movie on the following day, September 19th. This is probably big, oh, oh sorry. Uh, this is probably because the actors in the movie were uh, Fukunosuke Nakamura and Ritoku Arashi, who are the top kabuki actors in Kamigata. Kamigata is the Kyoto Osaka cultural region, and therefore it was expected to be a big success in Kyoto. And this is the flyer of Honnoji Kassen in Yokohama uh, Kirakuza. Incidentally, following the release at ABC Yaza and Iwagami the Playhouse, Denkikan in Shinkyoku also started screening Honnoji Kassen from December 13th, that same year. As in the case of 
with Momiji Gari mentioned at the beginning of this, lect- uh, this lecture. The question is, what is the significance of a movie being first screening, screened in a playhouse and then re-screened later in a movie theater located in the same district? It is conceivable that I- this is related to the state status held by Denkika in Rock during the early 1900s. Before movie theaters became the main means for screening movies, this Denkian located location was just a place for re-screening movies that ho- that had already been screened at large theaters, such as Kabukiza Playhouse. Bearing this in mind, in it can be assumed that in those days, the Denkikan in Shinkyoku, which opened in 1908, was also a place to screen the movies that had already been screened in Playhouse. In 1908, there were 27 films screened at the Denkikan in Shinkyoku, and also at Playhouse in Kyoto. Only one of them was first screened at the Denkikan and then screened at Playhouse, such as Minamiza Ebiseza or Iwagamiza Playhouse, while the rest of them were first released at Playhouse. The early period films of that year, directed by Shouzo Makino, which were Sugawara Tenjinki, Kojima Takanori Homare no Sakura, Akegarasu Yume no Awayuki, Sakurada Sodo Chizome Yuki, as well as the other Yokota Shokai period films, Akogichi Horibe Yasube no Oitachi, Sakura Giminten, and Sakura uh, Sankatsu Hanshichi were, however, all released first at Playhouse and only later screened at movie theater in Kyoto. This demonstrates how Yokota Shokai put more value on screen, screening movies at Playhouse than at movie theaters in Kyoto. In other words, to Yogota Shokai, the role of the movie theaters in Shinkyogoku or Nishijin in May 40s was to rescreen the movies that had already been released in playhouses. This is quite a contrast to the environment in Tokyo, where eight movies, movie theaters had already opened and period films were well, being released not at playhouses, but at these movie theaters in 1908. Sugawara uh, Tenjinki released on March 1st. Akegara's Yume no Awayuki, same day. Kojima Takanori, Homare no Sakura, April 12th. Sakura, uh, Giving them same day. Akogishi, Horibe, Yasube no Oitachi, same day. Sankatsu Hanshichi, May 1st. And Sakurada, Sodo, Chizome Yuki, July 60th. Along with previous mentioned Honnoji Kassen were all released at Fujikan, a movie theater in Rock. This indicates that movie theaters in Tokyo and those in Kyoto had different characteristics around 1910, as filming was becoming established in Kyoto. In addition, as shown by the above released dates, most of the period films made by Yokota Shokai were released first in Tokyo before they were released in Kyoto. Gowan Tadanobu, 
、タダノブフィズ・アゴーボード、which is well known as the first movie star i n g Matsunosuke Onoe, who later on became the first Japanese movie star, was not screened at all in Kyoto in the produced year. <laughs> This is a still photo、uh, of Goban Tadanobu. It can be seen that Yokota Shokai put more value on screening movies at movie theaters in Tokyo than in Kyoto. Why did there emerge such a difference in the roles, of,、uh, roles played by playhouses and movie theaters in Tokyo and Kyoto? I would like to consider this question further by exploring the region, regional spe-、uh, characteristics of entertainment in the urban space. Relationship, relationship between urban space and movie screening. Tokyo's rock and Kyoto's Shinkyogoku were established in the early Meiji era as entertainment districts. However, in terms of the relationship, relationship between playhouses and movie theaters in these entertainment districts, there were regional differences between Tokyo and Kyoto. In Tokyo, all of the renowned large theaters of This period, such as Kabuki Za, Meiji Za, and Teikoku Gekijo, were located around downtown areas in the heart of the city, such as Nihonbashi and Ginza. On the other hand, <coughs> most of the movie theaters were built in rock, located in Asakusa Park on the outskirts of the city. The playhouse was in a separate Separate urban space from the movie theaters with the, with the only playhouse in rock being Tokiwaza, which put on Koshibai, plays performed in small theaters. I would like to examine this situation further with regard to the specific locations of these theaters on the map.、Uh, please look at handout. Of figure one. The map was created based on the Tokyo City train map, 1910. And the map extends from Shinkyo,、uh, Shin, sorry, the map extends from Shinjuku in the east to Kinshicho in the west and from Shinagawa in the south. To Nippori and、uh, Ikebukuro in the north. Black dots on the map indicate movie theaters, while white dots indicate large theaters, and gray dots indicate small theaters as defined by the Metropolitan Police Department.、Uh, figure one. These are These are the locations of the theaters as of 1910, but to clearly indicate the relationship between large theaters and movie theaters. Teiko Gekijo, which was to be completed the following year in 1911, is deno- denoted by an asterisk. Three large clusters can be detected on the map. The first one is the area denoted by an oval where large theaters, including Shin- Shintomiza, Kabukiza, Yurakuza, and Teikoku Gekijo, are all located. The second is the area denoted with a square where many of the permanent movie theaters were located around the rock. And the third is the area circled with dashed lines, which is large theaters 
small shelters and movie shelters being found together in one area. This area will be discussed in the next next section. As for the second area, I would like to examine the particular extended map, figure two. Based on Asakusa Park, 1907. Except for Miyato uh, and Tokiwaza playhouses for Koshibai, this area was crowded, crowded with movie shutters. At the least, the map indicated that the city center uh, where the large playhouses were found was um, entertainment district, completely different in nature from rock, which was clustered with movie shutters. In the mid 40s, around 1910, large playhouses were geographically separated from movie theaters within the urban space of Tokyo. <coughs> in contrast to this, in Shinkyo and Nishijin in Kyoto, where many movie theaters were built around 1910, playhouses both major and minor, as well as variety shutters coexisted. For example, in 1909, Kita Denki Kan and Nihon Kan opened uh, as new movie shutters in Shinkyo Gok, in a place where many playhouses such as Minamiza Kyoto, uh, Meiji Za Kyoto, Ebisya Za, Otora Za, and Kabuki Za Kyoto were located along the same street. Nishijin was also an um, area where many theaters, such as Iwagamiza and Senbonza, were located. But Nishijin Denkikan nevertheless opened there in 1909. Shijokawara, where Minamiza, the most renowned large theater in Kyoto, was located, is very near Shinkyogoku on the other side of the Kamogawa River, there was no such geographical geographical distance as the one between the city center of Tokyo, where large playhouses were clustered, and rock which crowded with movie theaters. I also would like to examine this point using uh, another map, Figure Three. This map was created based on the Kyoto City Field Survey map, 1909. It has almost the same scale as the previously mentioned Tokyo City train map. The population of Kyoto back in 1910 was apparently uh, 470,191, which was less than one third of the population of Tokyo at the same time. This is reflected in the number of theaters. Further, how theaters were situated is clearly different. In the major forties, large theaters and movie theaters in Kyoto were closely located in this district including Shinkyoku and Shijou Kawara, denoted with a square. These areas were entertainment districts different from the Nishijin area, denoted with an oval in the center of the map, where many small theater were clustered. Enlarged view of the area denoted with square will demonstrate this more Clear, clearly, figure four. We can see that large theaters and the movie theaters were closely situated along the street in the Shinkyoku from the Sanjo Street through Shijo Street. Incidentally, the point at the point denoted 
with the asterisk in the map、uh, in the southwest of the map is where Yokota Shokai was located. This means that Yokota Shokai was Yokota Shokai's base for filming and movie screening in Kyoto was located next to the districts where the large shutter were clustered around 1910. How did the connection between urban space and entertainment district relate to early period films made in Kyoto and the type of audience who went to see them? I would like to provide further insights into this question in the next regions and、uh, characteristics of movie screening and filmmaking. In this section, I speculate that the connection between the urban space and the entertainment district in Kyoto, in Kyoto where large shutters and movie shutters were situated closely, had a significant impact, significant impact on the filmmaking. For instance, Shouzo Makino, who directed Honnoji Kassen, was the head of Senbonza Playhouse in Nishijin. Fukunosuke Nakamura and Ritoko Arashi, who appeared in the movie, also performed、uh, in Oshibai, Kabuki Plays, around the same time. As far as I can、uh, ascertain from Hinode newspaper in Kyoto in 1908, Fukunosuke Nakamura appeared in six shows at ABC、uh, the, in Shinkyogoku. Five shows at Kabuki Za Kyoto, one show s at Minamiza in Shinkyo,、uh, Shijo Kawara, and one show s at Iwagamiza, Nishijin. Rito Karashi appeared in five shows at Kabuki Za Kyoto, and two shows at each of Minamiza, Ebisaza, and Iwagamiza. The fact that expect for Iwagamiza, all the playhouse were running shows of Oshibai in Kyoto. Fukunosuke, in particular, was one of the most popular actors of the Oshibai in Kamigata. The rankings of actors in three urban pre- prefectures gave him the 23rd place in the highest class of the ranking. There, were, there was an article about the screening. Of Honnoji Kassen at ABC Yaza saying some connoisseurs were calling up Homuraya, a h a m u r a y a or Masagoya, house name of Kabuki actors. Thus, it is spec- step,、uh, spectacular,、uh, speculated with that,、uh, sorry, it is speculated that the audience for Oshibai was not so dif- different from the audience for movies in Kyoto around 1910.、Uh, it is ranking of actors、uh, here. There is Nakamura Fukunosuke. However, in Tokyo, where Oshibai and filmmaking were clearly dis- distinguished, the geographical Sepa- uh, separation of movie theaters from the large theaters in the city, city center was reflected in the type of filmmaking. Shutter、uh, Association made,、uh, in fact, in 1911, the Tokyo Shutter Association made a decision to ban Kabuki actors. From appearing in movies. Just conflict between.、Hmm. Conflict、uh, between Kabuki and movies as forms of entertainment was becoming apparent. Nevertheless, with regard to Shinpageki, contemporary plays. 
uh, eminent actors such as Yoho E and Asajiro Fujisawa appeared in se-、uh, some of the Shinpa films or contemporary films. This may be related to the fact that the third area circled with dashed lines on the map of Tokyo presented in the previous section, which was clustered with movie, movie theaters such as Kinki Kan, also included. Include Hongo the a strong hold of Shinpageki at the time. The entertainment district of Kyoto and Tokyo thus exhibit unique characteristics in their own urban spaces where playhouses and movie theaters were located. It can be concluded that the different types of Audiences offer chances to produce the different t y p e movies and short stars. Conclusion It was in 1908, during the major 40s, when the first permanent movie theaters, theat-、uh, movie theaters was built in Shinkyogoku in Kyoto. However, This theater, the Denkikan, had the role of re screening movies that had already been screened in playhouses in the same district, unlike the movie theaters in Rock in Tokyo. Yokota Shokai, a movie company in Kyoto, put more value on screening movies at movie theaters in Tokyo and at playhouses in Kyoto. Which means that Denkikan in Shinkyogoku was not necessarily, necessarily regarded highly as a place for screening their movies. Nevertheless, this difference, difference in approaches was rooted in the difference in the relationship between movie theaters and playhouses. Within the urban space of Tokyo and Kyoto. In the case of Tokyo, the area where large shutters were clustered was clearly separated from the area that crowd, crowded with movie shutters. In Kyoto, on the other hand, large shutters and movie shutters were in, uh, situated closely in the same district, Shinkyogo. In the mid 40s, when filmmaking was gaining m- momentum in Japan, it served in Tokyo to deepen the conflict in the entertainment industry between large theaters and the movie theaters. In contrast, the regional characteristics of the entertainment districts in the urban space. Of Kyoto, together with the presence of audiences who have linked Kabuki with period films, was instrumental in encouraging the development of a different film making culture in Kyoto. Thank you for listening.